Hey guys, Adrian Manns for TraderInsight.com. Had a great question about how to set up the bracket orders for the Baltimore Chop trade so that it was easier to manage them, easier to sort of manipulate what's going on on screen. I've got a quick little trick that I use that makes those easier to deal with. It's not going to completely automate it, but it does make it a fairly simple process to go through and just rearrange things a little bit and make sure that uh, the trade's going to be set up the way you want it to be. So let's take a look at it. This is from yesterday. This is Target TGT. And I'm just going to show you how you can uh, save a strategy so that it makes it a little bit easier then for you to, uh, to go and switch uh, parameters around a little bit. So here we've got uh, Target from yesterday. You can see $75.15. That was the threshold low from that first bar of trading. $74.55. That was roughly going to be the target. And then this top line, you could pretty much put anywhere. So let's just say that you did... Uh, uh, $76 per share above the high of that second bar. And the way that we would set the bracket up would be we would click down here on bracket. And in this case, we're going to put 75.15 and 75.11. So 75.15 is the stop price. Stop means that's where the trade goes active. A lot of people are confusing uh, stop with stop loss. And uh, that's sort of a common problem for newer traders, but just bear in mind, stop just means something's going to happen at that level. Then the limit price, that's the worst price we're willing to accept. And in the case of the Baltimore chops, we want to keep that limit very, very tight. If you put market orders out there, I can tell you what's going to happen. You're going to get lousy fills on these things and you're going to be very upset. It's better to use a limit to constrain the order and make sure that you get filled in an acceptable range because otherwise, you're going to find yourself losing money when other people are making it. And it's a very frustrating experience the whole way around with the market orders. So then we click short. And on this short sale, we see that the parameters in the top of the bracket are filled in. And then what I do with these is I'm going to just do a bracket that is a 100% fill. And then I'm going to go and just put an offset price into each one of these of 75 cents. And when I do this, what I'm going to do is save this as points as 75. Let's just call it 75. So that gives me then a bracket order that I can pop up quickly for something like target. So now let's say we save this and then we close it. And now pretend for a second it didn't trigger in the second bar. So instead what happened was, let's say price got up into here and we had this low in place and this was going to be our trigger price now, 76.17. So then what we would have to change on each bar as it moves up are these values here. So 76.17 and then 76, let's say 14. And then we click on bracket. And then what you would do is say short again. And this time when it comes up, you would just use your 75 strategy and you can see it fills those parameters in. So why do you want to do this? Well, because when you place this order, the the bracket order is going to pop up live on your real tick screen with the first leg. So this order right here at 7617 would pop up as long as you've got display attributes, show orders on. Those are going to be lines on the screen. Then you can drag those lines around to accomplish what you want to once the order's live. So now this pops up, it gives you an entry then you're going to have a stop that's up 75 cents above that entry. As soon as that order is filled, you're going to have a profit target 75 cents below that entry as soon as that order is filled. So what do you do with those orders? Those are arbitrary. You go and change them. You just go and drag the order lines exactly where you want them to be. So let's say, you know, your stop was way up, you know, 75 cents higher. You just bring it in and you ratchet it down right on top of, uh, you know, where, where you want this thing to stop out if it comes down against you. And then your other line, your profit objective, is going to be down in here somewhere. So now you start saying, well, where do I want this to be? So I'm going to pull it up right into there. So once that live order is out there, you can pull it up into that first bar of trading and just focus on that tail. And what this does is just sets that bracket order up for you really quick and makes it fairly simple to go through and change it. So I hope that that clears that up a little bit for you guys. Um, I know that it's frustrating when you're trying to deal with these orders sometimes and, and trying to get them in quickly and then you wind up missing things. But just by setting up sort of a generic bracket like that and then you only have to populate the stop and the limit, 
gets you in there quicker. So if you have any other questions, shoot me an email, adrian at traderinsight.com. Hope you had a great trading day today and an even better one on deck for tomorrow. It's the best trader education anywhere, only from traderinsight.com.